Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, we will talk about developing metrics to track the performance of your information security program. The organization must evaluate the performance of its information security program. This will not only result in its improvement, but also enables the company to make better use of its limited resources. An organization's security framework focuses on three key elements. These elements consist of people, processes, and technology. Hackers use sophisticated methods to target the weaknesses in these elements for performing cyber attacks. It is very important to train the employees, develop secure business processes, and remove vulnerabilities in technology infrastructure to secure the company's assets. The company must develop metrics to ensure that these key elements are working in a manner that is effective and secure. Information security metrics are quantifiable measures that are used to track and assess the, the effectiveness of business processes, tools, or technologies. Metrics help you determine what is working well and identifies the areas that need improvement. It is important that security officers correlate these metrics to the company's business needs. By doing so, they will be able to transfer security-related information to the senior management. For example, one of the metrics that the company uses is the reduced number of security incidents in the last year. The business correlation is the increased overall security in addition to reduce interruptions to customer service time. This also results in overall improved business performance. The Smart Metrics system enables the security officers to create effective security metrics. A metric is smart if it has the following properties. The metric should be specific. It should provide a clear description of what needs to be accomplished. The metric should be measurable. You should be able to measure and express the results in the form that is easy to interpret. The metric should be attainable. The objectives must be achievable within the timeframe and resources allocated. The metric should be relevant. It must align with the broader business goals of the company. The metric should be time bound. The objectives must have a start and finish date. Providing time constraints creates a sense of urgency and motivates the people to achieve the objectives. Strategic metrics measure the success or the performance of the strategy. These high-level metrics are used by the senior management to track the implementation and performance of the organization's security strategy. Let's review some important strategic metrics that are used in a company. Risk management metrics are used to assess the effectiveness of the information security risk management. Some indicators of effective risk management include clear definition of risk appetite, up-to-date and complete asset inventory, efficient processes in place to deal with security incidents, a decreasing trend in frequency and impact of the security incidents, a healthy ratio of security incidents from known versus unknown security risks, Value delivery metrics assess the value delivered to the business by the implementation of the security strategy. Some indicators of value delivery include the cost of security being proportional to the asset value itself. Security controls that are used take into account the level and the consequences of the risk. Cost-effective and adequate security controls that reduce the risk to the level acceptable by the company. Enforcement of organizational policies that require all controls to be periodically reevaluated. Resource management metrics are used to assess how well the information security resources are being managed. Some of the indicators of effective resource management include infrequent problem solution rediscovery. It means that the same problem is not recurring so that we don't keep providing multiple solutions to the same problem effective knowledge capture and dissemination. The organization not only learns from the past incidents, but also uses and spreads this knowledge to improve its security. Clear definition of roles and responsibilities in the organization. Security activities addressing a high percentage of information, assets, and threats. The proper organizational location, level of authority, and number of personnel for the information security function information security functions incorporated into every project plan in the company. 
The indicators of effective information security performance include the time required to detect and report security events, a downward trend in the frequency of unreported incidents. The benchmarking of companies' performance with competitors shows the use of effective security controls. Acquiring knowledge of evolving and impending threats. Performing regular log reviews to ensure that we are keeping tabs on things. This results in a timely detection of security events. Proper monitoring and tracking of risks that change over time. Information security metrics can help your enterprise operate more effectively. With proper metrics in place, business leaders can make informed decisions about the investment in its security program. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.